Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from ShouldIGetIt.com. In this video, I want to show you guys a quick glimpse into how I cleaned this BMW M3 in Photoshop using frequency separation. This is something that I wanted to learn for a really long time and I used it on my portraits. Finally, I bit the bullet and I bought the Pro EDU tutorial on frequency separation 2.0. Literally, today's the first day that I've finished all the tutorials and I'm watching it and I want to make this for you guys just to share with you uh, some of that technique and also just show you how insane this is so you can see this car was really dirty like you know just rinsed with a hose literally um, had a bunch of dirt and you can see we kept all the details still on the license plate the lighting still looks perfectly sharp on these line edges and this is the same exact shot here's the quick time lapse it took me 10 minutes to do this editing and I'm just getting faster and faster every image I practice on you can also see up here uh, I didn't perfect this but we can take another look in Photoshop in a second but I got rid of this reflection of the street sign still keeping the texture on the trunk basically frequency separation 2.0 is to keep textures and be able to clean things up and it's just kind of insane what it does you can see I cleaned the ground but that's easy so basically I'm no longer gonna clone stamp anything and I want to show you guys kind of the breakdown in Photoshop so here of course is the before and we have the after so I'm gonna start fresh from the top so you can see here's how dirty the car was and there's a Photoshop action that's included with the pro edu tutorial I'm not gonna share it because I honestly do highly recommend this tutorial I'm not paid to say that but uh, here is the 8-bit action so I'm gonna play that and then I'm basically just gonna choose how much blur I want so we can see that if we went super high blur this would mess everything up but this is kind of splitting your image into two sections you have your light and the tones and then you have basically your dirt so uh, and texture so what I'm gonna do is just slide this up until most of the dirt is gone so what I want to do for that is zoom into a part that's dirty let's say right here on the trunk lid and I can basically blur and I want as little blur as possible actually but enough to get rid of all the dirt so you can see one doesn't really do anything we can try five that pretty much clears it but we still have these dirty spots here so I want to get rid of that dirt so let's try like eight and eight does it magically you can see that if we oh that's 58 uh, whoops if we go to eight you can see that cleans most of it up there's just this little piece but we can we can get that out easy so let's try 12 I'll just do one jump up boom that's gone everything looks pretty clean and this is really easy to get out so we're gonna go to 12 and I'm gonna let that basically uh, run on the action and you can see now we have quite a few layers on the right side if you look in the bottom right of the screen and we have it split into various things so we have are low frequency layers which is basically the colors so if we turned this off you can see it looks kind of blurry and fuzzy take a look at the license plate it almost looks like a GTA loading screenshot which is kind of cool but that's just our tones and then we have our textures and if we turn off the bottom you'll see now we have basically the dirt and this gray background and if I were to turn it on and move this you can see there we have the outline of the license plate and some of the dirt down here and all that good stuff you can see I'm clicking next to it so I'm gonna move this back and then it also has this action uh, or this curves layer in the action which is awesome which really defines out all the dirt so I'm gonna show you a brief breakdown now of how to clean that so basically what I'm gonna do is select the layer with the textures and I'm gonna use my clone stamp tool like normal and this is basically just to move over the texture and the grain from the other spots so right here all I'm gonna do is super quickly whoops let me do an aligned clone stamp I'm just gonna move this over and I want it to end up being the same gray so we're just gonna do this super quick and I'm not gonna fast forward or anything I'm just gonna keep this tutorial in real time for you so let me go from here boom and now if we turn on our low layer and turn this guy off you can see that the trunk is quite a bit cleaner right here under the license plate already and that took literally all of 30 seconds so that part is clean super easy you can see it still kept the light and the texture uh, then let's go into this piece and I'm guys I'm just doing this one rough for you so you can get an idea for it again really recommend uh, picking up that tutorial but uh, here is a few more pieces so we're gonna clean this up and you can see this is kind of a hard spot because if you just cloned it it has a highlight and a dark spot in it and just a whole bunch of stuff going on but again what we can do is just clone stamp to get that texture out and you can see it doesn't affect the light underneath it so it doesn't 
mess with the shadow. It literally just takes out the texture. And that's the crazy part of this frequency separation 2.0 stuff. So you can see even if there's like a gradient in the piece that you're cleaning, you can get rid of the texture. And then what you do, you can see we got rid of the gradient there or the, the texture, but now it's blurry, which means it's on our low layer, right? So there's still that a little bit. And then basically what you do is you have this magical brush that you use, and we're gonna go on low layer there, and then we're just gonna blend it. And let me turn off the solar layer. Boom, you can see that is cleaned up like magic right there. And I'm honestly just stoked and want to make this video. So uh, basically what I did, you can see in the time lapse, is I did this for all of the pieces. So I would go in to the texture on the texture layer and I would clean it up. And then after all that, some of the spots needed to have the light blended. So I did that and that was it. So basically your image splits into two. You have your textures, you have your tones, and frequency separation 2.0 is crazy. I used to use frequency separation, like the normal one with Gaussian blur. This one is a different setup. Honestly, I'm just super stoked. If you want a more detailed tutorial, let me know, but I'm starting to take my editing and retouching game to the next level, and I know a lot of times we come back from shoots and cars are dirty or it's a pain in the ass to clean some stuff up, uh, and this makes it super easy. And just for this tutorial to finish it off, what I want to do is try and re- do this top part because I honestly think I can do better than uh, this little mushy piece that I left up here. You can see it's not the cleanest edit, so we're gonna try it right now in real time. So again, I'm gonna turn off my lower layer and you can see there's really not that much uh, texture going on up here. There's a little bit of dirt uh, when we turn on the solar layer, but this is something that the human eye won't ever really see. But I'm just gonna clean it up real quick and you can kind of see the difference where the reflection is versus over here. So I'm just gonna start blending in this way. And this is just changing the textures, of course. So you'll see basically once we do this and I turn on the lower layer, what we're gonna have is the blurry kind of tones of it show up. Uh, and it, of course it's already blurred a little bit from the depth of field, which is why there's not that much texture in it from the bokeh you could say but here you go on the low you'll see that that's all in there and if i turn off the solar you can see now we have this blurred right so before that's what it looked like um, with the textures now it's there's no texture on it and it's just the bottom so there we go you can see this is just blurry and again what i'm going to do is go with my blender and i'm just going to bring in some tones from here i'm going to up my flow a little bit and you can see we literally just blend this stuff out and I am using my Wacom tablet you can do this with a trackpad it just it's a little bit quicker with the tablet so you might be hearing the clickings but I'm just gonna slide this stuff in let's see lower my flow a little bit and this is pretty much how you do it so if you have any questions leave a comment down below let me know uh, the worst case you've had where you've been on a photo shoot and a car has been dirty. This was just a for fun kind of shoot after going on a drive. Uh, literally just took a couple of shots so that I'd have something to practice on. And I'm glad that I did. And you can see now this is blending pretty well. We have a little bit of orange there that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to blend here from the bottom. And let's see. Zoom out. I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, I could keep going in. And I could clean it up even more. I'm going to see if I have a higher flow. There we go. We got that white on the trunk. Kind of evening it out. And there we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. If you want a full tutorial on how to use this method in all your editing, I really do recommend the uh, class from ProEDU. Just leave a comment down below and then I'll put the link in the description, I guess. And now we will turn on our texture. And there we are. So before... We had all this dirt on the car and the top part. And then after, you can see it's pretty cleaned up. I mean, I have more of the bottom to do, but I did that originally. We could clean here. We could clean that. Basically, anything you want to take out, you now have this magical superpower to do so. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And let me know what cards you want to see on the channel. Peace.